talking to head coach Adam Artemaker and coach last week the Titans uh, split a pair of games and you kind of saw the, the best of the Titans and, and the worst of the Titans but you know coming out of that performance uh, one thing that came out of it was this league uh, really anyone can win on any given day. Well there's no question so uh, going over to Butler I thought we had a good game plan I thought we had uh, the energy I know right now we're just uh, starting the second half and we just we have some goals for ourselves and, and going over and, and, and beating Butler was a, a huge win for us and we played together as a team and we were excited, had a lot of enthusiasm, uh, did it on the defensive end, were able to execute on offense uh, and then to turn around uh, on Saturday and, and go into Valpo, it was, just, it, it was a letdown. So uh, Valpo has vastly improved, they, they did a great job of executing and, and we did not come out uh, ready to go and we weren't able to make shots and that's what really hurt us so uh, just really uh, trying to get some consistency going that in a good way consistent in a good way uh, w would be nice and uh, certainly we're not giving up at, at any point and we're trying to come out and win on Saturday. Coach, tough game this Saturday versus Wright State. Uh, they have one of the top scorers, one of the top rebounders. Uh, last time the Titans uh, played them was down there down by 10, came back to take a lead, and had a chance uh, in the last minute to play there. So, you know, what did the Titans learn from that game? You know, I, I, that Wright State game, it was uh, it was very challenging. They, they have a lot of great parts uh, to their team, and they have an excellent point guard in LaShawn Thomas who's able to uh, put up numbers in a, in a real quick hurry. She's able to handle the ball, and she runs the team. And uh, then they have a great supporting cast and the two three-point shooters on, on the perimeter that we have to absolutely be aware of at all times. And then certainly their uh, Molly Fox in the post that just uh, she warrants a lot of attention. And when she catches on that block, I mean, you might as well put two points on the board. So uh, they have a great combination, and hopefully uh, we'll be ready for them on Saturday and able to contain them on offense and, and be able to execute on offense ourselves against them. And coach, uh, Saturday's game is also part of Girls and Women in Sport Day. A very important day to, you know, take pride in, in women athletics. So talk about that day and you know how much it means to you know to keep uh, women and girls involved in sports. Oh no question. I mean, in a society where the economy is not doing so well and, and, and certain programs are being cut in schools. Uh, it is great to have the support of the young women to be able to come over here and, and see our girls doing something that perhaps they may, maybe never thought that they could. Uh, so we're real excited to have uh, that kind of a crowd on Saturday and just uh, getting interest. And I, I just the thing that I would want our the young girls to see is that the hard work, the commitment, the energy, and, and what it takes to get there. So I, I'm really hoping that our girls can set a great example for them and give them something to uh, look forward to and to strive for uh, in the future.